know, it's like, does he do all these recordings in one sit down? Eh, kind of sometimes. Just depends on how the juices are flowing. If I had a good breakfast that morning, that's besides the point though. So Lent 2, we've gone from Lent 1, Temptation of Jesus, to Lent 2. Now this is the one-year lectionary or the historic lectionary, however you want to phrase it. Lent 2, we get Matthew 15, the Canaanite woman. This is such an awesome text to give us that joy of Lent. You know that Lent is not this dreary, sad time. It's this joyful time that we repent to a merciful God. Because who's this woman going to Jesus? Is the Canaanite woman. She shouldn't exist. Remember Joshua. God says, Joshua, yes, Lord, kill them all. And yet this woman is here, right? He was supposed to annihilate all of the people of Canaan because they were worshiping false gods. And yet this Canaanite woman is here, a revelation of the mercy of God. So she comes to Jesus, right? And she's, she's begging him, you know, uh, to heal uh, her, her, her daughter, right? And, and she, she's begging and she's pleading, and, and Jesus is ignoring her. But she keeps begging and pleading with him. And finally he says, it's not right to take the bread that belongs to the children and feed it to the dogs like you. He literally calls her a dog, and she doesn't deny it. You know, you and I, we don't like being told what we are. When the law tells us what we are, we kind of hate it. It's like you're an adulterer, or you are lazy, or you are angry, or you are prideful. We're like, no, I'm not. I'm just ambitious. Um, I'm, you know, we, we hate the law when it tells us what we are, when it reveals our deep, dark, bad stuff. But this Canaanite woman is called a dog, called the lowest of the low. She doesn't deny it. She says, oh, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the children's table. She confesses who she is. I am a dog that's unworthy of God's love. And so are we. We're beggars, like Luther said. We are unworthy of God's love, and yet it's given. And that's the point as we keep going through Lent, is getting up to the cross, is we're not saved because we earn it. We're not saved because we deserve it. We're not saved because we have merited it. We are saved from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil because God is merciful, and he loves us. And he sent his son to die for us in our stead to die for even those who are descendants from those of Canaan. We who are taken from this valley of idolatry and unbelief and doubt, we are saved and loved and forgiven. So take heart, my friends, as you meditate and hear this blessed story of the Canaanite woman. She is saved. She confesses, I'm a dog, yet I abide in your mercy. So are we. I am a sinner, yet I abide in the mercy of Christ. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.